Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and in this particular video, I have a nice, lovely math word problem for you, and hopefully it's not that difficult for most of you out there. Feel free to use your calculator, but uh, let's go ahead and read the problem. It says a bottle is filled with four ounces of perfume. If 20% evaporates away, 20% of the per, uh, perfume evaporates away, how many ounces of the perfume remain? Okay, so that is the question. Again, uh, don't be shy about using a calculator. And if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna thoroughly explain this problem step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so hopefully uh, the problem is pretty you know, clear, but uh, let's go ahead and see how many ounces of uh, perfume remain after 20% evaporates away. And the answer is 3.2 ounces. Okay, so this is a, what I think a pretty easy math problem. Now, if you didn't get this, you're like, wait, I got something different. Well, there's probably a good explanation for it. Probably know where you, uh, where some of you made an error, okay? And you're, and you're gonna be like, oh boy, okay, I confused that. No big deal. But for those of you who did get the right answer, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know exactly how to solve. What type of problem are we dealing with here? Well, I would say a percent problem, okay? And percent, is one of these topics that I think a lot of uh, uh, people think they know better than they actually do. You gotta be very careful when it comes to percent problems and uh, you gotta really make sure you understand uh, kind of what's being asked of you. But let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, at how to solve this problem. All right, so when it comes to any math word problem, I have what they call a uh, rule of three. That's what I call it. I just kind of made that up and uh, basically is Basically, you want to read the problem at a minimum three times before you actually start doing math. Right, The first time you read it, you get a sense of what's going on. The second time, you know, read the problem, pull in more details. And the third time, really make sure you understand the question. So here again, we have a bottle and it's uh, filled with four ounces of perfume. Okay. And I'm being told that 20% evaporates. What does this word evaporates uh, mean? Well, it's like if you have a puddle of water after some rain, the sun comes out and then that just water just kind of dries up. It just evaporates away. Okay, same thing. What happens when you have a little pot on a stove with water, you know, that heat is evaporating away. So that's what evaporation means, just in case you didn't know what that word means. Uh, and we're, you know, being asked how many ounces remain, like how many ounces are left over after 20 uh, percent of this bottle evaporates away. All right, so what we want to do is always kind of model this. Okay, so here is my lovely perfume uh, bottle, and I know that it's filled, okay, or was filled up with four ounces of perfume. Okay, so I'm kind of pulling that detail right here. So a full bottle is four ounces of perfume, and I know that 20% is going to evaporate away. So 20% is maybe something like this much of the bottle right here. This is going to uh, kind of just, you know, disappear, right? It's going to evaporate. So that's 20%, but the question is what? Well, how much remain, how many ounces remain after 20% evaporates? So what remains is this amount, okay? So if you have 20% ev uh, evaporates, and the total amount here is 100% of the bottle. Well, how much remains? Well, 80% remains, right? This is 80%, and this is 20% for its grand total of 100%. So what we're really trying to determine here is this amount, okay? We wanna know what 80% of four ounces is. Now, for some of you out there, you probably confuse this. You're like, oh, 20%. Uh, four ounces, you you may have taken 20% of, uh, uh, may, you may have found 20% of four ounces and that was your answer, okay? If that is the case, no big deal. Just remember, you got to understand what's going on. That's not how to get the answer. That's how much evap, that's how many ounces evaporated away. Now you could 
do this and subtract it away from four ounces, right? But an easier way to do that is just to take 80% of that four ounces. So 80% of four ounces is what? Well, 80% of four ounces, remember, when you are taking a percent of a number, you need to change that percentage into a decimal. And that's pretty easy. All we need to do is uh, move that decimal point over to place it to the left, which is the same thing as divided by 100. So 80% is equivalent to the decimal point 8. And then we're going to multiply that by 4. And we get our lovely calculators out. Or you can just kind of see this. Uh, 8 times 4 is 32. So this is going to be 3.2. So 0.8 times 4 is 3.2. What? 3.2 ounces. Okay, so that is the correct answer. Again, you know, um, hopefully uh, most of you got this correct. But for those of you that, you know, maybe did this real quick and you just found 20% of the four ounces, I'm telling you right now, uh, a lot of people made that error, okay? Because they probably read the prompt too quickly. And after I explained it, they're like, oh, I knew, oh, I should have known better. Yeah, yeah, I went too fast. And that is a big part of math. You got to really pace yourself, right? And some of you out there that are very good with math, you go too fast and you end up making errors, okay? This is a, a pretty common problem with strong math students. They get so excited, they're like, I don't need to read this. I don't need to listen to that guy on YouTube. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, so what if he's been teaching math for decades and decades and decades? I'm just going to read this thing once and go real fast. Da, 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 da. Well, listen, you know, I've seen this story time and time again. And one of the most uh, phrases, okay, that math teachers have uh, heard through the centuries is this. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. And what you have is, please, Mr. Math teacher, please, please give me my points because I knew that. I knew that. Okay. Well, if you knew that, you should have done that, right? So slow down, concentrate. And uh, I'm sure the next time around when I have a lovely word problem, you'll get this thing right. No doubt. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.